Hi there, uh, I've got a few teachers editing uh, their courses and uh, they're having a few issues, a little bit of trouble, so I wanted to show you and see what you thought. Uh, they're using the new content experience and this is a newer type of course, so they have to go down here to edit content. And let's say unit two, activity two, just for example. So let's say they want to edit this, they have to click on options and then edit. And it brings them to the editing screen, which as you can see, only gives them a very tiny window here at the bottom to be able to edit. So it's quite a small window. And this is apparently the full screen mode. I realize the icon based navigation is pushing that down and, and making things difficult. So they cannot edit uh, in this mode. So what most teachers end up doing is they click over here thinking that this will bring them to a full screen editor, but this actually closes the full screen editor and then brings them to this editor without full screen. And now, as you can see in here, the content here just looks very messed up and uh, not looking good at all. Things are overlapping and there's a lot of problems. So they end up, this is when they come see me and say, hey, what's going on here? What I've been advising them to do is go back to their content, turn off the new content experience, so now to go down to teacher edits, we'll try and go back to the same activity. So the difference in the old content experience is that they can click on edit HTML. They still have that little tiny window to edit, but they can scroll down and full screen from there. Now, as you can see, they're brought to the full screen editor takes away all the other stuff at the top and they have the ability to full screen edit. So my question and my wondering is, can we get something like this happening with the new content experience where it's a true full screen editor uh, where teachers have that ability to edit instead of toggling back and forth between new content experience and old content experience. Thanks.